Hello everyone. So as most of you may know, Andrew Yang is indeed running for mayor of New York City. Now, um, this morning he released his first campaign ad. So uh, before I get into this, I want you guys to watch a little snippet of that video because it was quite astounding. And then we'll talk about it. New York City always felt like the center of the universe. I grew up an hour north and came into the city with my brother whenever I could. In 1996, I moved to Morningside Heights. I went to my no. friend's shows. I was in the garden for Larry Johnson's four-point play. Mets or Yankees? Let's go Mets. Knicks or Nets? I'm sorry, Knicks, but you've been too bad for too long. I came of age, fell in love, and became a father here. Hey guys, thank you. My wife Evelyn is from Queens. Both my sons were born at St. Luke's. Papaya King or Grace Papaya? Grace Papaya, the champ. Eventually, I became a CEO. I started a nonprofit. Hello. President Obama named me a champion of change and an ambassador for entrepreneurship. I ran for president because I saw that the economy was not working for everyday Americans. 60% of small businesses are shutting down. That's crazy. Yeah. Seeing my city the way it is now breaks my heart. What happened to George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and so many others, it's beyond injustice, it's inhuman. Okay, what you just saw there was, um, it's pretty heartwarming to say the least. Uh, it was, it was, it was, it was really good. I liked it. Um, of course, you all can have your own opinions of it, but I thought it was fairly nice and I enjoyed watching it. Now, you know, Andrew Yang, He's one of those characters that he reminds me a lot of uh, a Bernie Sanders type. Now, don't, now, you know, when you hear that, don't, you know, become unraveled and think, oh, he, this guy's comparing Andrew Yang to Bernie Sanders. No, that's not technically what I'm doing. Not Maybe not in the sense of policy, but on the, in the sense of when you listen to him talk and you listen to him speak to you, you don't feel as though he's lying. You don't feel as though he's trying to pull a fast one on you like you do with a lot of the smarmy and um, vacuous politicians that we have um, circulating in our political sphere nowadays. You know, Andrew Yang, to me, is a really honest guy. And if you just go through and watch interviews of him and certain things of what he's had to say, and his opinion on you know these current political times and moments and what's going on he's a very educated and astute individual and you know i like a lot of what he has to say now of course i don't agree with everything that he advocates for um or everything that he um thinks should happen as far as the direction that this country goes but you know one of the things that i that he has convinced me of is this whole UBI thing, the universal basic income. Um, it's not that I disagreed with it before. I just had never considered it. You know, it was kind of, um, it was just something that I had never thought of. And, you know, he lobbied for it and he lobbied for it hard. That for him is like Medicare for all for Bernie Sanders. And so he really went hard in the paint for this UBI thing. And this pandemic did nothing but prove him more right and make him look good that um, a UBI would be something that's great for the American people. And, you know, so he's running for mayor. What I want to do really quickly is read to you just a quick uh, excerpt from this Guardian article about his mayoral run. So it says, two years ago, no one would have fathom Congress would ever send t tens of millions of Americans around the country money with no strings attached, Yang said, referring to the stimulus checks that were included in Congress's two coronavirus relief bills. Though he has not yet publicly outlined what the program would look like, sources have said the plan could entail 500,000 of the city's residents receiving between $2,000 and $5,000 and will cost an estimated $1 billion a year According to Gothamist, Yang said he also aims to fix the city's mass trans, uh, transmit mess, saying that he would push for uh, municipal control of the city subways and buses, which are currently under state level control and promised to have a fully electric bus system by 2030. 
And he's also advocated for the um, the uprising of small businesses and helping them out greatly because they have gotten hit hard during this pandemic. 60% of small businesses that have closed during this pandemic are permanently closed, in case you didn't know. That's a fact. So he really wants to help them out and he wants to help people out in general. And I think he'll be great on social issues and issues pertaining to police brutality and things of that nature. Because if you know anything about NYPD and how policing is done in New York City and New York in general, um, and if you see how they handled the protests from the George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and just the uh, social unrest over this past summer in general, they did not do a good job if you watch a lot of those videos. So I think he'll be great in that area as well. He just seems like an all around pretty good individual. And, you know, he's coming off a presidential um, run that did not go how I'm sure he would have hoped for it to go. But uh, a lot of that really wasn't his fault. Um, he was largely and largely might be an understatement ignored by the media in general. Um, he was looked at as a as an unserious candidate, a person that, you know, you shouldn't pay any attention to. And that largely upended his campaign, among other things. But all in all, I think this is a good thing for New York City. He'll definitely be better than the current mayor they have now. <laughs> um, and um, I just wish well for him. I wish well for him. And he's really grown on me, you know, with um, the 2024 race coming up. There's a lot of uh, hoopla going around about, you know, who's going to be the next lefty to run. You know, I mean, who do we have? Because Bernie Sanders reign has seemingly ended in that retrospect. And, you know, at some point he has to retire from politics in general. He can't serve in the Senate forever until he dies. He has to have, he has to have some sort of a peaceful kind of ending to his life, you know, um, and I wish him the best in that regard. And I wish him um, longevity. But um you know, who's that next person going to be, you know, looking back a couple months, I was thinking, I don't know, maybe Tulsi, Yang, among others, you know, um, maybe I saw some people floating like a like a labor union leader or something. You know, who, who knows? Who knows? I'm kind of diverting away from what I should be talking about. But Andrew Yang is running for mayor. I would say that it's a good sign for the uh, New York City people and uh you know, uh, working people in general and people that um, own small businesses and what have you. And um, I hope this goes well for him.